Hi everybody, my name is Ed Morris and I'm Technical Manager for Altechnic. Now before we start this video, make sure you hit subscribe because then you'll be updated with all of the content that we load onto our YouTube page. Now we're gonna do something a little bit different today. We've done videos where we've taken valves apart and we've looked at the internal components, but we've never actually seen how they look when they're installed inside a valve. So here we are with our 5213 Merchant Mixing Valve. And you can see all the components that we've taken apart before are all now in situ so we can talk about exactly how they work and why they're there and why it's important that we have it for the function of the valve. So first of all, if we look at the way the valve works, we have a hot and we have a cold supply. That is then blend in the middle to give us that safe working temperature. But how do we achieve that? Where does the water go and how does it work? So first of all, we have the cold supply and the hot supply. These come in through two tails. So we either have a mix, uh, an, uh, an MX tail, which is what we have here, or we have some straight tails. Water comes in, first of all, isolation. Now that's there for maintenance and safety. So if we need to carry out any maintenance on the valve, we can easily isolate it. But also if there's a problem, uh, when it comes to the functionality of the valve, we can always say there's, you know, there's a leak, we've got the, the ability to stop that water from flowing. Secondly, we come in, you can see on both sides, we've got a strainer. Now what that does, it stops any debris passing through the valve though. Sometimes, you know, or a majority of the time, there's gonna be a little bit of debris in the system. So what this does, it stops the, the, that debris passing to the valve because we need it to be moving, need the, the parts inside there to be moving freely. So that prevents that from happening. Again, as well, on both sides, we have a single check valve. Now what that does, it stops us getting any kind of cross contamination. So we're not putting any hot down the cold or cold down the hot. So we're not getting any cross supplies there and causing issues elsewhere within the system. So we start to look inside the valve now. We've got our flow conveyor. Now what that does, it modulates up and down to allow more or less hot water or cold water to come through to give us that set temperature that we've set the valve to. Now that works by inside there. There's a thermostatic element which sits right inside that flow conveyor. The water passes over that and now that reacts to that temperature, either expands or contracts. Now that expansion or contraction allows this, this shuttle to move up and down. We can see the, hot, the cold flow path at the top, the hot at the bottom. It just regulates that to make sure we've got the right amount of hot or cold coming to give us that safe temperature. Now we pass through we've got a spring on the bottom there's also a spring in the headwork now what that does it works off two opposing forces so if, if, if it needs to move the shuttle up and there's less, less spring on the top it modulates up and down and vice versa there's more pressure on the top it will move it up and down now one of the key features and it comes to thermostatic mixing valve is the foul safe function now that is there to prevent scalding and if there was an interruption to the cold supply we need this valve to react quickly and safely to prevent people from getting scalded whether that be direct use or say for instance filling of a bath so should this cold water be isolated what happens is the raw hot water will pass over this shuttle inside of here now that will expand it will open really quickly now the force of the spring on top will push that flow conveyor all the way down and it will close off that hot supply so no water will pass through the valve then once the cold water is supply uh, supply is reinstigated that then will start to work as normal and then obviously at the bottom we just have our mixed outlet so that's where the mixed water comes from so that's pretty much that's the internals of our 5213 mixing valve now if you want any more information on this valve or any other valves in our range visit our website which is www.altechnic.co.uk